Welcome back. In this video, I am installing the power steering C5 upgrade kit and pump to my 2001 Pontiac Trans Am. And I will show you why I'm installing this in just a minute. So this kit comes from a guy named Nick Fritz. As you can see, it's really nicely done. Um, you can get the reservoir here in clear for about $20 cheaper. I got the polished aluminum. You can also get it in black. Comes with the aluminum pulley, hoses, clamps, everything you need. Now, it doesn't come with the pump, but this pump here on Amazon is only $60. This is the standard C5 power steering pump upgrade from the original stock unit. I will compare them side by side. Super easy install. Now, this is not going to be a full how-to install video because on his website, he has an incredibly detailed... I mean, step by step by step, as clear as you could possibly show how to install this. So I'm not going to reinvent the wheel and do this whole thing all over. I'm just going to do a couple highlights in one little area that I added different. This whole kit here, $190, 60 bucks for the pump. So I'll figure $250, a little more with tax. And comparing it to the stock LS1 pump, the problem with that one is there's not very many brand new ones out there. And I've heard that... They're not very good. They don't hold up. And then the remanufactured ones, I heard those are also not very good either. They don't hold up. So on Rock Auto, they only sell remanufactured pumps. A uh, They're between 150 to 180. And the stock pulley is plastic. I wanted to upgrade to an aluminum pulley anyway. So you figure to buy a remanufactured LS1 pump with the pulley, you're already with shipping tax, everything, like $220. So for about, let's say, $260, $270, I mean, $50 more, it's an upgrade, so why not do it? Also be installing a new high pressure line. Figured the stock one now is 22 years old. I mean, this is only $18 on Amazon. Again, I'll put this in the description in the video. So one extra step I wanna do, I wanna try and change out some of this fluid. Now you'll never get it all out, but nice thing about the power steering pump is it's constantly circulating. Unlike the brake reservoir where the fluid at the rear calipers is pretty much staying at the rear calipers. This fluid is constantly cycling. So what I'm doing is every day for about a week up to the install, I'm going to take my suction device, pull out all the fluid that I can out of this reservoir and just refill it, drive the car the next day and, and repeat and repeat. And then the new fluid will keep cycling with the old and you know, it's not gonna be perfect, but it will get a lot of it out. Now you got two ways to do this. You can use just the old fashioned turkey baster, but Honestly, I hate these things. They don't pull out very much and they drip all over the place and they make a mess. So on Amazon, and again, I'll leave the link. I got this massive, huge um, suction kit. You just stick it in here, pull the plunger back. I can pull out the entire reservoir in just one, one pull and that's it. And it doesn't drip all over the place like a turkey baster does. Then I'll refill, like I said, drive it and do it again and again. And before I do this install, I'm gonna try to suck out every possible drip I can so that way I don't make a mess when I take that stop pump off. You can see with, with this syringe here how much fluid I was actually able to pull out. I mean, that's a lot of fluid, and that is a lot of turkey basting right there. One pull, done, took me just a couple seconds. All right, so here you can see the problem. Stock pump is leaking from the shaft. You see that drip right there? It's getting all nasty and dripping down the high-pressure hose. Um, this car only has 45,000 miles on it, so it's not really a question of mileage at this point, it's age. And that stock pump is only a bushing, there's not a bearing in there. And because of the way everything's arranged, the power steering pump sits right on top of the alternator. So once it starts dripping in the alternator, you can literally short that thing out. So um, I'm going to try and undo the high pressure fitting here from the rack and pinion. And it, just leave everything hooked up up there and hopefully walk it away. That way I don't get power steering dripping all over my alternator. But I'm going to cover it with a bag just in case. All right, here is the difference. The stock pump with its regular bushing that it spins on. It was, I mean, the bottom's all nasty. It was coming out the shaft right there. Brand new pump with the bearing. Side by side. And it did actually help. Um, leaving that hose hooked up there and removing it at the rack and pinion because I'm replacing the hose anyway did definitely cut down on a lot of the mess. Otherwise, as soon as I took this off, this thing would've been dripping all over the place. All right, well, I am done. I just got back from my test drive, no leaks. Check the reservoir, looks good. I think I got all the air out. Um, power steering feels really good, nice and quiet. The whole job took about an hour, and I think it probably wouldn't have went faster, but I was just trying to make sure I didn't spill power steering fluid all over the alternator, so I was taking my time. 
um, cleaning things up as I go, you know, just there's no, there's no rush and it's not that big deal of a job. Now, I'm thinking about doing this exact same kit to my other car in black. And if I do that car, I notice in Nick's video, there's another option, another part you can buy. See this triangle bracket back there that the power steering pump attaches to? A company makes you know, a billet one, uh, like a, a polished aluminum billet. It looks amazing and that looks kind of shitty, but you know, this is my daily driver, so I really don't care that much in this car. It's, under, it's dirty under the hood all the time anyway. And then um, one thing I did change. So the way the reservoir sits on here, it was kind of rattling. It was a little, you know, it shook. And the edge of the round part was rattling off the brake line here. So I took this extra vacuum line I have, cut it like a hot dog bun, slipped it over the brake line, cable tied it on there. And now it doesn't move. But before, you know, it was kind of rattle, rattle, rattle. So... Definitely a big improvement. Um, if you do need a power steering pump, I recommend this kit. Really easy install, it's a nice upgrade. You don't have to worry about the remanufactured stock ones you know, burning out quickly. And like I said, it looks better. Improvement overall. So once again, thanks for watching.